Skylab 3, also SL3 and SLM2, was the second manned mission to the first American space station, Skylab. The mission began July 28, 1973, with the launch of three astronauts on the Saturn IB rocket, and lasted 59 days, 11 hours and 9 minutes. A total of 1,084.7 astronaut utilization hours were tallied by the Skylab 3 crew performing scientific experiments in the areas of medical activities, solar observations, Earth resources, and other experiments. The manned Skylab missions were officially designated Skylab 2, 3, and 4. Miscommunication about the numbering resulted in the mission emblems reading Skylab I, Skylab II, and Skylab III respectively. Topic: Crew. Topic: Backup crew. Topic. Support crew Robert L. Crippen Henry W. Hartsfield, Jr. Carl G. Hanais F. Story Musgrave William E. Thornton Richard H. Truly Topic. Mission parameters Mass, about 20,121 kilograms, 44,359 pounds. Maximum altitude, 440 kilometers. Distance, 24.5 million miles, 39.4 million kilometers. Launch vehicle, Saturn IB. Perigee, 423 kilometers. Apogee, 441 km Inclination, 50 degrees Period, 93.2 minutes Topic. Docking Docked, July 28, 1973 19 hours 37 minutes and 0 seconds Coordinated Universal Time Undocked, September 25, 1973 11 hours 16 minutes and 42 seconds Coordinated Universal Time Time docked, 58 days, 15 hours, 39 minutes, 42 seconds Topic. Space walks Garriott and Luzma — Eva 1 Start, August 6, 1973, 17.30 Coordinated Universal Time End, August 7, 001 Coordinated Universal Time Duration, 6 hours, 31 minutes Garriott and Luzma Eva 2 Start, August 24, 1973, 1624 Coordinated Universal Time End, August 24, 2055 Coordinated Universal Time Duration, 4 hours, 31 minutes Bean and Garriott — Eva 3 Start, September 22, 1973, 11.18 Coordinated Universal Time End, September 22, 1359 Coordinated Universal Time Duration, 2 hours, 41 minutes Topic. Mission highlights During the approach phase, a propellant leak developed in one of the Apollo service module's reaction control system thruster quads. The crew was able to safely dock with Skylab, but troubleshooting continued with the problem. 
Six days later, another thruster quad developed a leak, creating concern amongst mission control. For the first time, an Apollo spacecraft would be rolled out to launch Complex 39 for a rescue mission, made possible by the ability for the station to have two Apollo CSMs docked at the same time. It was eventually determined that the CSM could be safely maneuvered using only two working thruster quads, and the rescue mission was never launched. The crew, during their first EVA, installed the twin pole sunshade, one of the two solutions for the destruction of the micrometeoroid shield during Skylab's launch to keep the space station cool. It was installed over the parasol, which was originally deployed through a porthole airlock during Skylab 2. Both were brought to the station by Skylab 2. Skylab 3 continued a comprehensive medical research program that extended the data on human physiological adaptation and readaptation to space flight collected on the previous Skylab 2 mission. In addition, Skylab 3 extended the astronaut stay in space from approximately one month to two months. Therefore, the effects of flight duration on physiological adaptation and readaptation could be examined. A set of core medical investigations were performed on all three Skylab manned missions. These core investigations were the same basic investigations that were performed on Skylab 2, except that the Skylab 3 in-flight tests were supplemented with extra tests based on what researchers learned from the Skylab 2 science results. For example, only leg volume measurements, pre-flight and post-flight stereophotogrammetry, and in-flight maximum calf girth measurements were originally scheduled for all three Skylab missions. In-flight photographs from Skylab 2 revealed the puffy face syndrome, which prompted the addition of in-flight torso and limb girth measurements to gather more data on the apparent headward fluid shift on Skylab 3. Other additional tests included arterial blood flow measurements by an occlusive cuff placed around the leg, facial photographs taken before flight and during flight to study the puffy face syndrome. Venous compliance, hemoglobin, urine specific gravity, and urine mass measurements. These in flight tests gave additional information about fluid distribution and fluid balance to get a better understanding of the fluid shift phenomena. The Skylab 3 biological experiments studied the effects of microgravity on mice, fruit flies, single cells, and cell culture media. Human lung cells were flown to examine the biochemical characteristics of cell cultures in the microgravity environment. The two animal experiments were entitled Chronobiology of Pocket Mice and Circadian Rhythm in Vinegar Gnats. Both experiments were unsuccessful due to a power failure 30 hours after launch, which killed the animals. High school students from across the United States participated in the Skylab missions as the primary investigators of experiments that studied astronomy, physics, and fundamental biology. The student experiments performed on Skylab 3 included the study of libration clouds, X-rays from Jupiter, in vitro immunology, spider web formation, cytoplasmic streaming, mass measurement, and neutron analysis. The crew's health was assessed on Skylab by collecting data on dental health, environmental and crew microbiology, radiation, and toxicological aspects of the Skylab orbital workshop. Other assessments were made of astronaut maneuvering equipment and of the habitability of the crew quarters, and crew activities. Maintenance experiments were examined on Skylab 2 through 4 to better understand the living and working aspects of life in space. Topic: <laughs> Mission Insignia. 
The circular crew patch was Leonardo da Vinci's Vitruvian Man, representing the mission's medical experiments and retouched to remove the genitalia. In the background is a disc that is half sun including sunspots and half earth to represent the experiments done on the flight. The patch has a white background, the crew's names and Skylab 2, with a red, white and blue border. The wives of the crew secretly had an alternate graphic made of a universal woman with their first names in place of the crew's. Stickers with this on them were put in lockers aboard the command module to surprise the crew. Topic. Gallery Topic. Spacecraft location The Apollo Command Module used on Skylab 3 is currently on display at the Visitors Center of the NASA Glenn Research Center at the Great Lakes Science Center in Cleveland, Ohio. The module used to be at Glenn Visitor Center, and was moved to the Great Lakes Science Center in June 2010. It took a year to plan and 120,000 United States dollars to move the capsule. Topic. See also 1973 in spaceflight Splashdown spacecraft landing Timeline of longest spaceflights